What's up guys, so I got this Microsoft Surface a little over a year ago and I've only ever booted it up once because I didn't have a Surface Charger. But it actually came with two Surfaces, I gave my friend one of them and the screen's completely broken, it doesn't display anything so he just he's letting me borrow his charger. So in this video we're going to try to put Windows 11 onto this one. Um, it's, this one's not a too great of a condition either, as you can see there's a hole in it. But last time I used it, the screen worked, so let's go ahead and plug it in, see what happens. I, whenever I was in like school when I used it, it had a BIOS password on it, but it, the Windows password hint made me find out what the BIOS password was, so it no longer has one as far as I know. At least that's how it is with the Windows one. So, let's see. Alright, alright what's up guys, I think I ended up figuring out the password, so I think it's just space, 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 oh. maybe it's just two spaces, um, oh, yep, alright, so let's go back up to the, um, the other view I have, I mean, it's not even a tripod or anything, but, uh, yeah, let's go back to that and I'll show y'all surface all right so we found out the password so let's just i guess go through the surfaces os i hate windows i think this is 8.1 or something now let's go over to my main computer so i can show y'all rufus what's up guys i'm going to show you all the settings i'm using for rufus so i have this connected to a 64 gig micro center usb drive it's a 3.0 and all the settings are going to stay the same until you press start uh, and whenever you press start, you can see the like bypass options. So I have it bypassing the CPU, the RAM, the TPM, the online account requirement. So that's the only way I know of that you can skip the online account, which is pretty nice because I don't want to log into Microsoft account on devices like these. And I'll be back on hopefully the install screen for Windows 11. All right, so now that Rufus is done, let's go ahead and plug this USB in. Um, I can't actually see where the port is. There we go. I, I don't know the bias buttons on these. Oh. Um. Oh, did that work? Uh, I don't think it worked. I can't get a secure boot or anything. Guys, I went into the UEFI settings um, by holding shift um, while pressing restart, and I think I actually booted into the Windows 11 installer. Yeah, I did. So, um, yeah, so what you're going to do is just uh, while you're in Windows is hold shift, press restart, uh, then it, you go to uh, use a device, and uh, like USB, stuff like that, and it booted right into this. So if it works, I mean, we might be able to get this set up. All right, what's up guys? In the last clip I showed you that I got into this, so. Oh, Shift F10. We're gonna go to disk part, list disk. Oh, I spelled that wrong. List disk, select disk. Zero, clean. All right, so this is the scary part where it actually is restarting because I don't know if it can access the USB or not. Um, so uh, let's hope it works. We have the Windows 11 load up loading bar, which is a pretty good sign. Alright, it's a pretty good sign. It's looking good so far. Alright. Looks like we are in Windows 11.
Alright, we're in Windows 11. Alright, what's up guys? We're going to run Snappy Driver Installer Origin. It's just the easiest way to get all the drivers installed and it just does it all for you. It's a little bit slow, so it'll take a while, but yeah, it'll just detect all the drivers you're missing and install them. So, I will update y'all whenever this is done. Alright, what's up guys? I have the LG OLED video test loaded. I know this is an OLED, I just used this video to test it. And let's see how it works at 4K. So it does seem like it's dropping a few frames. Uh, so to be fair, this is also an iGPU. So let's switch over to 1440p. And it seems like it's not dropping any frames after the first few seconds. So it can load 4K YouTube pretty well. What's up guys, um, I have installed Minecraft onto the surface, so let's see how this plays. Uh, we're going to turn down the volume a little bit, uh, they're just, no wait I think the volume button's right here. It's already kind of lagging in the main mini so I mean, I'm not expecting much here, it's just the first game that came to mind for some reason. I could see me playing this a while ago on a surface or similar laptop oh the computer shut off i'm not gonna lie this is i mean pretty play it oh i'd say with optifine this would be pretty good because i mean Well, I mean, it's really hard to play games like this with a trackpad, so. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty playable. Um, I mean, I, I don't think I'd hate. If I didn't really have anything else, I'd totally play this. So, yeah. In my opinion, I don't think the Surface is the best on Windows 11. I honestly think that something maybe like Linux might work well on here. Just getting Linux working would be a little bit difficult for me since I don't have the UEFI password. Uh, but yeah, if you have one of these, I'd say honestly try Linux, maybe like a bootable USB. I'm not the biggest fan of Linux, but for the old devices like this, especially touchscreen ones, if yours actually works because yeah, mine doesn't work all the way. Um, I mean, I have a few Linux touchscreen devices that work perfectly, like work better than uh, Windows did just because they're so low powered. So yeah, um, I'd say if y'all have one of these, I'd try Linux, maybe Windows 10, Windows 11 is a little much for it. That's yeah, going to be all for this video, so thank y'all so much for watching, and see y'all later. Bye.